to the uh, Log Matrix Model Club. <clears throat> this is a, another another edition for those of you who have been uh, attending. Uh, the topic for today is using Nerve Center to monitor uh, the VMware environments. Um, some of you may have been monitoring or using VMware, let's say, for quite a few years, and perhaps some have not. So what I'd like to do first is sort of talk about the architecture and how uh, VMware works and how we're able to access it for uh, management and monitoring purposes. Basically, this diagram that you see here in the center of the uh, screen is actually something that's displayed on the uh, vSphere client. The vSphere client is something you download from VMware and can uh, log in or attach directly to a, an ESX server, or you may also have what is known as vCenter uh, server running, which is a sort of uh, separate server that will monitor a whole group of VSX servers. <clears throat> In this case, we actually have a vSphere server running, and it's actually a VM. And I have a number of VMs set up, and one is actually you know, running at the mo moment in addition to the vCenter. Now with uh, VMware, as you know, you've got uh, the hypervisor servers, which are the ESX servers. Uh, each of those can be running any number of virtual machines. And the virtual machines can be any number of different uh, types of operating systems, from Windows to many flavors of, of Linux. The uh, vSphere uh, or the vCenter server um, seems to be a, a Linux-based server, but there may be an option for Windows. I'm not, I'm not really sure. In any case, this client is actually connected to the virtual center or the vCenter server. And should I have multiple ESX servers, we would be able to see them uh, in this screen. With version with ESX version 4 and 4.1, there is, in fact, the ability to query statistics about the ESX server um, directly via SMMP. In fact, with version 4.0, you are able to query statistics on the VMs themselves directly with SNMP. It appears on 4.1, the only um, SNMP query capability is directly to the ESX server, getting statistics about the overall health and performance of it. As of version 5.0, which is the current version, there is no SNMP query support at all. There is the ability to set up some uh, simple thresholding, and you can receive traps or emails directly from uh, the vSphere, or rather vCenter server. But um, this could create a number of potentially multiple alerts or possibly even uh, you know, false positives for transient uh, thresholds being reached. So in all cases, as those of you who know Nerve Center, um, we can poll and query SNMP and make logical and, and uh, more advanced decisions about whether or not there really is a problem. Instead of alerting based on a simple transient, a single crossing of a threshold, we'll look for persistence or things of that nature. Well, in order to query an ESX server now or vCenter, we cannot use SNMP, as I said, with version 5. There is, in fact, however, an API. This API has uh, sort of two different interfaces to it, which, which VMware calls an SDK. One is based on Java. The other is actually uh, based on Perl. So I don't have to ask uh, those of you who have been using Nerve Center for quite some time. I'm sure you don't have to ask us which one did we choose. 
of course, it was the Perl interface. As it turns out, you download this, uh, this SDK. When you install it, if you merely tell uh, the SDK or, or point it to the Nerve Center instance of Perl, it will basically install um, some Perl modules and some executables right within the file structure of Nerve Center. And immediately, uh, the, you know, the uh, Perl modules are available, and you can, in fact, query the statistics on both ESX servers and the, from vCenter. So in other words, we can pull the, the API directly via each ESX server, or you can pull all of the ESX servers associated with a single vCenter or virtual center server. I would say the advantage of having virtual center is that you can have multiple ESX servers associated with your single instance of that server. And if you're monitoring and managing virtual machines through this method, you don't have to uh, search and find out which, which ESX server happens to be running a particular VM at a given time. Now let me show you what this looks like in Nerve Center. Now granted, I've created some very, very simple models that are looking, in this case, at memory and CPU usage, just as sort of a proof of concept to show um, how this works. The vSphere, or the VMware SDK, comes with a number of examples for uh, direct query of this um, of the managed objects that are available. And in fact, if we take a look back at this uh, client and look at uh, select one of our virtual servers and the performance tab, we can see some simple graphs that are showing uh, about the different metrics that are available. And as you can see, CPU usage, memory, um, disk, and an additional metrics uh, that break it down into some different uh, ways. You can also look at the entire VS ESX server for performance to see if your overall memory usage and disk usage is, is being exceeded. All of these metrics that you see here are available through the API. So we can query any of these individually to see uh, how individual VMs are performing and also the overall ESX servers themselves. As you can see, if I reset these particular metrics to ground, we're going to do a quick poll, checking to see that the VM is there, and then testing for high usage or, you know, within specification. It pulls pretty quickly, and it's actually, we're not using SNMP at all. If you take a quick look at the poll itself, as you can see, we're using a VMware Perl module that comes with the SDK. We're defining the various counters, and the reality is we're pulling the counters into a hash in memory, and then sort of doing a query of that hash to look for statistics on individual servers or ESX servers, in individual VMs or ESX servers, I should say. So you just basically define a URL and a user ID password. You're then able to pull back the metrics. I trimmed this down a bit so that I could just get the things that I wanted. Let me widen that out a little bit. And then basically we're looking for some specific values within the, within the counters that are being pulled back. This API also has a number of uh, other capabilities besides just monitoring. Management of VMs, starting and stopping them is also possible. Uh, even creating a VM is, is possible, or importing uh, virtual machines, or moving them between ESX servers. So it's 
quite possible that you could uh, find a use case where you want to use nerve center to perform some of those management routines also besides just monitoring. So this is a, a pretty useful uh, capability and it it's, um, works quite well and seems quite efficient within nerve center. And in fact, we've already begun to work with some of our current uh, customers on getting ready to monitor some virtual machine and, and ESX environments uh, using Nerve Center without SNMP. So in a nutshell, that is um, how it works. And um, as we've talked in other uh, model clubs, uh, again, Nerve Center is simply not limited to just SNMP. We have the ability to extend the capabilities by adding modules such as this to monitor different types of um, devices and uh, systems and services within uh, the enterprise. I'll go ahead and then open it up to any questions and basically through your um, go to webinar client you have the ability to sort of raise your hand if you want to actually speak or you could uh, send a question uh, through the sort of a chat capability. So if anyone at this time has any uh, questions, feel free to either raise your hand or let us know if you uh, have any questions. The other thing I'd like to hear, and, and if, it's, if it's not during the webinar, uh, perhaps after, if you could drop us a note, we, we are interested in uh, building some uh, pre-built, you know, models for Nerve Center to monitor the, this environment. And we're, we're interested in understanding what some of the challenges and perhaps some of the use cases are that, uh, that go along with monitoring this kind of environment. And uh, we could then use that to build these, you know, these sort of stock models. This model will become available on our website as long as, as well as a uh, recording of this uh, webinar. And it doesn't seem I have any questions at this point. We're also always looking for new topics for these Model Club webinars. So if anyone has any suggestions there, uh, we'd be happy to hear about that as well. Okay, well, if there are no uh, questions, feel free, of course, to send us an email or, or give us a call if you do have any questions later. And certainly if you are interested in perhaps setting this up in a test environment or something of that nature, also give us a call and we can, uh, you know, walk you through how we were able to get this working and set up. And it's actually quite simple. It, it, it uh, installs very quickly and, and uh, seems pretty straightforward. So, again, uh, if there are no questions, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, stop the uh, you know, sign off here for now. And uh, again, anything comes up later as far as questions, feel free to let us know. Thanks.